Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my workflow. Right now, I am logged in to my Wix account. That's who hosts my website. And because I'm adding a new service, I wanted to share some of the strategies that I use when I am putting information into my website. So one thing is, David, how are you going to be ranking and how can you get your services out to the people? How do you get that exposure, right? So guys, let me show you something and I hope you guys really apply this right away. If you guys are having a hard time creating a website and that's not really your thing, that's understandable because we have weaknesses and strengths. And sometimes you really want to capitalize on those strengths and leave those other opportunities to either a freelancer or someone you guys know that can execute the job well done. Speaking of websites, guys, I'm going to be jumping on live with Brett from Mindsaw, who's an SEO expert. He's great at creating websites that are effective and interactive. He's also really good at helping you rank your Google business profile. That's his specialty i'm going to be jumping on live with him on a video chat through zoom and he's i'm going to ask him questions he's going to provide answers and if you guys want to reach out to him that's amazing so let me show you a technique that i love using i'm going to go into google and then type in google keyword planner right here all right it's going to take me to this tab choose the right keywords it's all about keywords and this is in spanish for whatever reason let me go ahead and change it to english here uh english english por favor all right so set it to English and we're going to go to uh, keyword planner. So one thing you guys uh, earlier, we had a gentleman on the live and he was asking me, David, I'm offering uh, LED uh, dance floors. I'm offering thrones. I'm offering this and that. And you want to see what keywords are being used right now. So for example, for my latest brand new service, it's going to be a digital photo booth. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the title here digital photo booth. All right. I'm going to grab that and I'm going to go over to the keyword planner and type in digital photo booth and then on top of that i'm going to type in photo booth rental uh what else i'll leave it at that i'll use these two and then i'm going to go to results get results right over here and i'm not sure if i adjusted this correctly or is my face covering up almost everything my face was almost covering up everything so let me go ahead and minimize this here so you guys can get a much better view of what the heck i'm talking about so typed in these two keywords and then i'm going to go to get results now all right, so here's the two keywords I typed in. Now, for digital photo booth, average monthly searches ranges anywhere from 100 to 1,000 searches per month. Now, year to date, there's been a 900% increase and the competition is high. So it's a good thing that a lot of folks are interested in the digital photo booth keyword. There's a, there's, like I said, there's been an increase. 900% is drastic. It's, it's a lot. And then when you go to regular photo booth rental, this uh this keyword that's probably been around a lot a lot longer it's a uh, 10,000 to 100,000 searches a month and the competition for this is high as well and then it gives you keyword ideas right down here I like this because you get photo booth higher photo booth near me with a uh, competition being medium meaning you can rank for this pretty easily and here it shows you again the average monthly searches along with the changes from a three month change to the year over year a change right here so that's exactly where i get my ideas from and this is where i select um certain keywords so what i do next is i go over to my website here and i'm going to use digital photo booth and right here in my description i'm going to make sure that i add photo booth rentals so i have a combination of both of those keywords and then on top of that what i'm going to do next is when i go to the seo settings right here i'm going to show you guys uh something that's very unique and important that you do once it takes me to the SEO, this is how it's going to come up in the Google search engine. It's going to come up as Digital Photo Booth San Bernardino. The only difference that I did is I added San Bernardino. Okay, so this right here, Canary Capital, this I can I can remove and leave it as Digital Photo Booth San Bernardino. That means when someone's looking for a, um, a digital photo booth and they're close to my city, this is going to help me rank. And you guys know that I just got this digital photo booth. So this is one way to make this service SEO friendly here in my city. So whatever you guys are offering, make sure you guys attach your city to the end of the keyword to make it a long tail keyword, continue to push out content, and eventually you'll start ranking for that keyword. So now I'm going to go to save right here. And I highly doubt I'll come up on Google right now, but let's just go ahead and, and check to see what, what happens when I type in photo booth rental seminar dino right here okay so i've typed it in the past and there's a lot of ads uh qu really quick which is nice is my website's coming up here not my website but my google profile and then as i scroll down there's going to be uh there, there's my uh my website right there and then other websites right here so eventually what you guys want to do is you guys 
want to have so much content revolving around those keywords that if you post a video on YouTube, it'll come out right here. So that's one thing you want to do. So I'll give you a good example, like 360, 360 photo booth rental seminar, you know, I added the number 360 to it. Now my website is at the very, very top because remember guys, when I first started the business, I, it was all about the 360 photo booth service, pushing that as much as possible and ranking for that. And as you guys can see, I have videos on the first page of Google for this keyword, 360 photo booth rental seminar, you know, here, 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 and here, here, here. Yeah. So all over the place, if I go to page two, I'm, I still have videos on page two. So that's where you guys want to get to um, as far as your services goes. I hope this video helps. Go ahead and um, tune in because I'm about to go live with Brett pretty soon and he is an SEO expert. I'm just a very curious person. Catch you guys on the next one. Take care. Peace.